a lot of a lot of Hindus come to me and say like, look, Armin, Hinduism is such a, a feminist religion because in Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, they only worship a male god, but in Hinduism, they have both female and male god, which shows how female friendly and uh, feminist yeah. Hinduism. Yeah. Is. What what they what they won't tell you is that even today in a lot of Brahmin households, uh, menstruating women are treated like animals. I have heard from uh, Brahmin women friends how uh, they were uh, totally ostracized during their periods. And uh, what they won't tell you is up until the late 1800s, uh, women were thrown into their husband's funeral pyre alive. Uh, the practice of sati, which uh, yeah. which 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 the British abolished, and. Uh, you know, things like that. What they won't tell you is so, that... Uh, okay, that's a very important... Before you go, that's a very important point because a lot of a lot of times people br blame uh, stuff on British. Like, they say, like, oh, well, things weren't as bad until the British colonialists came and made it that bad, right? For example, the well, blasphemy law that you gave as an example. Yeah. But actually, here's an example where actually it was actually worse and the British came and made it better. They removed, well, like, uh, uh, burning, burning women alive... Uh, the British Absolutely. put a, uh, in Hinduism. Stop to it. Br British put a stop to it. But go on. Yeah. Well, uh, a lot of Indian uh, free thinkers and uh, uh, progressives lobbied for it. There's no doubt. But all those people were also very Western educated, uh, like Raja Ram Mohan Roy, uh, people like that. So uh, I, I won't take it away from them. Uh, they did contribute to the reform. It was not just the British, right. but. Uh, Hindutva organizations have always been in opposition of any of these changes. So, Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash SJME.